hello guys so uh, today in this video we'll be discussing about uh, batteries and uh, basically today i'll discuss about lithium polymer batteries because these are best suited for your uh, hobby work or the your rc work so uh, the, and these are very easily available in the market in this small package you get a lot of power with uh, a lot of customization also available so you can see that there are a lot of numbers written on this battery so i'll just tell you what all these numbers mean to you and uh, what all things you should consider before buying uh, such battery so let's continue on this so first and foremost uh, you'll be seeing this biggest number which uh, in this particular battery it says 2200 mAh so actually this is uh, basically the capacity of the battery and uh, for this battery it's 2200 mAh or 2.2 ampere R. So, <clears throat> what that means is, uh, what that means is that uh, if I uh, pull around 2.2 ampere of current from this battery, when it's fully charged, this battery will long uh, will last about one hour. Okay, and so this is basically uh, your uh, capacity. So, if you are uh, you know driving a small RC car or a drone which require a lot of current more than uh, around 2.5 or 3 ampere so the this particular 2200 mAh battery would last around uh, 45 minutes or even 30 minutes so <clears throat> so now you know that this is your capacity so the first point is your capacity and uh, for this battery it's 2.2 ampere hour so i told you what that means so the next point is uh, that in this battery it's uh, uh, written all the voltages here uh, 7.4 volt 11.1 volt actually in some batteries you will find uh, that there is no voltage written or uh, there is also written uh, cell number so sometimes it's 1s 2s 3s and go on it go goes on like this what that really means is uh, this number shows uh, that what is the cell number amount of cell in your uh, battery because these lithium polymer batteries they are not uh, based on the voltage uh, like for example in your lead acid um, the lead acid batteries are sold on the um, basis of how much voltage you want it's a 9 volt battery a 12 volt battery or a 36 volt battery <clears throat> in this uh, batteries it's like uh, how many cells do you want because approximately what uh, it is uh, that each cell of uh, a lithium polymer cell it's having a voltage of around 3.9 volts so if i get a 3 volt bat uh, 3 cell battery i will simply multiply it by 3 and which will give me around uh, sorry it's 3.7 volts so it will give me around 11.1 uh, volt okay and uh, if i want to go higher then definitely i'll go for 4 volt uh, 4 cell battery or a 5 cell battery which will give me more voltage so and this is a 11.1 volt battery that is it is having three cells so you can clearly see all the three cells in here they are very clearly visible in this sometimes it's uh, packed in a case so you can't see all the cells even your mobile phone batteries are made in this way but uh, they are only 3.7 volt because it's a single cell battery <clears throat> and uh, the last uh, thing which is left is your c rating here you can see it's 25c 30c or 35c and so on for uh, branded batteries like from orange or zippy you will get uh, around uh, 40c and 60c also so <clears throat> what that really means is that uh, as i told you in the beginning that these batteries can spill out a lot of current so <clears throat> as this is a 30c battery but uh, you're having a 45c 60c in case of orange and zippy so that number uh, actually shows you that how much current you can pull out of this battery without destroying it okay so <clears throat> how to calculate that is just multiply that c rating which is in this, this case 30 c with your uh, capacity which is 2.2 so uh, which will give me around 60 amp i will not uh, go for this because I, I will uh, try to be in a certain limit so for this battery to be safe i can pull around 60 ampere of current and then to this battery will not be destroyed even though it will last it will not last the, uh, that long if i pull that much amount of current from it but this battery can spill out 60 ampere of current 
uh, without getting harmed so that's quite surprising and uh, these are all the things which uh, you should know about lithium polymer batteries and uh, one more thing that while using these batteries be very careful with them try not to puncture these batteries or drop them or uh, try to unpack these batteries because these are quite dangerous if you accidentally puncture these batteries or poke any needle in that they can burst and even catch fire so be safe with these batteries uh, these are very good as compared to lead acid batteries because uh, in this very small package and they are very lightweight you can run your uh, robots and all your stuff for a very long time so hope all this information will help you choose better for your project thank you guys and see you in the next video